Cool howdy diddly dandy there chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I'm going to be showing you guys how to find drop pods to expand your inventory. So there are two ways of doing this, using your exocraft or using some maps to find the actual drop pods, which I've got the map right there, there you go, exosuit upgrade chart, I'm going to show you how to get those. So there's two methods, like I say, my method, I like to call in my freighter, because I've got some tech on my freighter that allows me to call in my exocrafts to any planet that I wish and inside of my exocraft I've got all the scanner technology installed which I'll show you a bit later and I'll show you what tech I've got on my freighter in a moment as well and you can scan for drop pods straight off the scanner using your exocraft I like this exocraft quite a lot because this exocraft is great for planets that has land and sea because you see those little sort of shiny plates on its feet yes it actually lets you scoot across water like a water boatman so it's, it's kind of like a land hovercraft. It's really quite a gnarly exocraft, this one. And I think it's greatly overlooked. They've expanded the actual cargo inventory space and hold on this vehicle now that makes it really usable, to be fair. The only thing is I haven't upgraded the engines in this, so it's as slow as a freaking slug in taffy. But yeah, it's, it's okay. It is what it is. I tried getting here, and that 3 minutes 20 is pretty much how long it's going to take me to get there, to be honest. I've moved my booster to see if I can boost it any quicker, but I moved it from a boosted slot to a boosted slot. It's not making any difference. I need some upgrades for this little kitty to make it quicker. Heck yes. Anyway, so the technology that you're going to need aboard your freighter, and to, to call your freighter into any system, you're going to need all of the warp drives, but yes, hopefully it's just a yellow system, then you don't. Um, but the actual bit of tech that you need to bring your, your actual exocraft down to the planet is this one here, the Orbital Exocraft Materializer. And of course, you find it from this menu, from that center console, and it's just, you press R1 up here, you can swap the tabs. Yes, it's, it's, it's a bit of a hidden menu, that one. Anyway, back to the drop pod. Now, every single drop pod uses the same materials to unlock these. So if you are going out and hitting up all these drop pods, take with you a load of sodium nitrate because you're going to need 10 per drop pod. You're going to need one carbon nanotube and you're going to need one antimatter housing every time you come here. There is a little exploit that I'm going to show you a bit later where you don't need to use anything. I mean, technically, you could just chuck it into creative mode every time you come across one of these and just hit it up for free if you have run out of any of those resources. There we go, people. Temps coming out of the Wasu. I love this planet and how thin the atmosphere is, where you can see the freighter really clearly in the sky there. Freaking lovely, isn't it? Pretty darn majestic and awesome. Anyways, so that's one way of finding them. Now, before I drove here in my exocraft, this time I've called in my exocraft, scanned, jumped into my ship, and then I'm flying over to the drop pod, which is a heck of a lot quicker than using an exocraft, which is a shame. They need to make the exocrafts a heck of a lot faster to have them usable, to be fair, people in the viewerverse, don't they? So I'm looking for that exploit right now. Now, what I'm looking for is one of those green cases, but all of them here are smashed, so I can't use the green case so basically as you take the um, rusted metal off the case press circle to exit back out of the menu or whatever your back button is on whatever console then go over to here and you can unlock it for free hopefully i'll get some footage a bit later and show you that in in action but here we go i'm just clicking onto each of these boom 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 i've run out of antimatter housing gonna have to craft some more luckily a lot of these things are crafted out of the most basic of resource so you're not gonna have too much of a problem unlocking all of these the sodium nitrate you just get normal sodium plants of this or yellow ones put them inside a refiner and turn it into the sodium nitrate easy peasy and you only need 10 a piece so it's, it's not it's not like a massive ask to be fair to do these but here we go i'm going to be upgrading my technology space because i've already managed to max out my cargo space i guess i have using these tips people in the view of us from while i was putting together this video lovely jubbly right well let's take to the freaking sky i guess so the other way is to use those sort of now navigational charts so to use those navigational charts you are going to need navigational data which we're going to get to in a moment and i'll show you how to get a shed load of navigational data in this video Oh, the technology for the Exocraft. Yes, you're going to need these free scanners to install. Where do you get the scanner tech and blueprint? Inside of the Nexus, and you get them from Perseus. This little guy over here that looks like a walrus. I am the walrus. I am the Eggman. I guess. There they are, there, right in the centre. If you want to install them in the Nomad, that is. Otherwise, you can install like well, the one in the Minotaur over to the right, but I don't know whether that picks up drop pods. I haven't used my Minotaur for freaking ages. So yes, those three that I used in this video, people. 
Now, while you're up here in the Nexus, you can also go over to this terminal next to Celine. Celine is the one that flicks her tongue out over here. There you go. Here she is. That's Celine. There's Celine. So it's the console next to her, right at the back. Go to this tube that's over here, and you can get yourself an extra slot. You can do this every time you jump to a new system. So you can go in the station and get one, and you can get one here. I'll show you over in the station in a mo, people. So I'm leaving the old Nexus. There we go. You may have seen the portal code at the bottom there. That's actually for that really nice planet with the fin sort of atmosphere, just as a heads up. Right, oh, so now we're heading into the actual station. Now, this is where the second part of the tutorial starts, people. So if you don't want to upgrade all the tech inside of your freighter and inside of your exocraft and your early game, this is probably the better method for you in the viewer first. Heck yes. So inside of the station, there's another one of those sort of like capsule chamber things that we just hit up next to Celine. There's one inside the station, over this side of the station where the appearance modifier is and also the ship scrapping unit. So just over this way, over by those two terminals, like I just said, is this. Hit this one up, it's a bit bigger than the one by Celine, I guess it is. And yes, you're going to hit that up. You are going to need units to do that. And you can do it once per station. And um, yeah, apparently though, people have told me out there in the view of us, if you go over to the opposite side of the station and just hang around for five minutes. So as you see there, at the moment it's at 5.39. So I'm going to have to wait till about you know 5.36 or whatever. And head on back over to there. You can hit that back up and claim another one. Apparently, so I'm just going to, Moosey, mooch around here for a few minutes. We're going to head on over when this gets to about you know 43 or 44, yeah, and that should be roughly about the time that people say. So there we go. It's on 43, but looking at my old watch on the arm, <laughs> yeah, it's actually 44, close to 45. So I'm going to head on over to the other side and see if that's actually a thing. I'm taking a little bit of a gingerly walk over. I'm just casually strolling because yes, they do say you got to wait for the full five minutes. They got they say wait till you see an auto save, which you can see that it did hit up an auto save, and I'm just testing this out now. Now I'm on PS5. Most of the people that have said that this works for them have been on PC or been on Xbox or other platforms. But no, it doesn't work for me. But it's worth a try, people in the viewerverse. But yes, like I say, for me, I can't get this one to work. But I've had multiple people sound off in my comments telling me about this thing as an exploit. Okay, navigational data. You can find that laying around inside the stations. It's going to either be blue or orange cubes, or it's going to be these little round hockey puck looking type things. Hit that up, boom, navigational data. You don't always get navigational data. Sometimes it gives you nanites. That's bloody hard to navigational data, isn't it? Well, it's not actually. I don't know what just happened with my freaking mouth. It just didn't want to make the freaking word. Anyhow, so hit on up those. Like I said, there's also an orange cube. Check the back room here, because sometimes you can find some just laying about on the table sometimes you have to jump on the table to interact with them but there we go navigational data heck yes oh and that exploit that i mentioned earlier about waiting for the autosave don't jump in and out of your ship okay um, you just have to sort of linger at the other side there's an orange cube there lovely jobs and yeah like i say you can hit up these and grab one of those this is a different station to the one before Okay, going up, done, because the one that I was in, that I just showed you on the other bit, of, no navigational data there whatsoever. <laughs> okay, cool. So any sort of codes that you see here, any portal codes, if they come up, it's not for that lovely planet. This is just a random system I jumped to just to find some navigational data. <laughs> cool. And sometimes over this side, you can also find some of these cubes, but it's very rare. I was lucky to get that one. Cool. Now you've got a shed load of navigational data, you can actually hit on up the cartographer, but you can also also go to the missions agent and sometimes the mission agent would offer you a navigational chart as a reward people as a secondary sort of little tip there so now let's go and see the cartographer anyway and we're going to be swapping some of the navigational data that i've got because i've got what 11 of them there you're going to talk to this little chap hello i love your purple shell suit mate it's from the 80s but yeah this, you're still rocking it very daft punk like and i like that on the side of your head you look like some sort of letterbox there we go and yeah you've got to swap like free charts over the Three navigational data for one chart. Three to one. There we go. And I've got myself a few there. Lovely jubbly. And then you can just hit them up. Even while in the station. You can't do it in the Nexus though. You get um, interference. Cool. Let's fly on down to the planet. And there's a drop pod right there. Houston, one of those navigational charts. So there's no landing. There's no jumping out. No getting into an exocraft. No mucking about. And it's nice and simple and easy. Now, not every station has got navigational data, like I pointed out. And so I'm going to show you a few more methods to get navigational data. 
One of those methods is every time you come to one of these sort of waypoints, hit on up the save point flag that's just there right behind me and you're going to get a navigational data for freaking free mate. Heck yes you are. Right now I'm looking to see if I can find one of those intact green cases and I can't but what I've noticed is there's some damaged machinery in very close proximity. So I think it has to be in a roughly about a 150U radius from the drop pod for this to work which I think that is just inside of the those limits. So I'm going to head on over to the damage machinery and see if I can use this to exploit the drop pod. So here we go, let's interact with this. I'm just going to take that viscous fluid off and as soon as I do I'm going to keep pressing the back button to come out of the menu which is circle on PlayStation. I don't know what it is for you. And if I head on back down to this drop pod, of course PC players can remap their keys so it's very difficult. So let's head on over here and let's just head on into here and let's hit on up this exosuit and just wait, just wait. Don't touch anything and it unlocks itself because it's registered that you've unlocked something and you come here and it unlocks this. Freaking great, isn't it? Saves you all those resources. I guess it does. There you go, people. I saw that one on Jason Plays' channel. Jason Plays is a freaking legend. So another way to get a shed load of navigational data is at one of your bases. Just put down a load of these barrel fabricators. You get the blueprint up by Hyperion and Celine, the tongue flicky guy. In between them two, there's like a little terminal there. You get the blueprint in there. There's quite a lot of pages. You're going to have to hunt for it. But yes, it's the red barrel fabricator. And yeah, just get those. And look, when you actually harvest them, it gives you navigational data. Now, if you've got two bases with a load of these barrels in, what you can do is use a portal and portal to one base, harvest them all and portal back to your other base, harvest them all, portal back to your other base, harvest them all and you can just put it into like a perpetual loop of doing that and you should get quite a lot of navigational data doing that with two bases. There's my portal code in the bottom left corner. I've made it nice and big for you. This is also inside of my own personal hub, the NMSA 905. I've got a whole wiki page. I put the wiki inside of the video description. It's in the link section. You should find it. But yes, come and put a base down in my hub if you like. Put a load red barrel fabricators there use my base and your base and just keep portal in between the two anyway you can see that i hit up that save point i got myself um a navigational data and what i did is i removed the junk off of that little green case in this case <laughs> and now i can do that exploit normally those green cases are intact but i went to about six seven drop pods before i came across one to make this video clip that was intact freaking annoying Anyways, Jams, I've just got to, I believe, my final drop pod because I can't interact with it and it looks like my tech space is now full. Let's make this nice and big. Yes, look at that. And look how much space I've got for additional technologies now, people in the viewer verse. It does make me wonder if we're going to get more technology coming into the verse in time because our technology spaces are massive now, aren't they, people in the viewer verse? Heck yes, they are. Okay, one final exploit. Now, this is a. This exploit's been in the game for like years and Hello Games have not removed it. And now they've enhanced it because if you change your difficulty setting to creative, boom, done, you can then build on your freighter and do whatever you like. I, I tend to use creative mode whenever I'm doing something new to my bases so I don't waste my resources. But now I'm just looking for that red barrel fabricator. It's in the internal parts and there it is, barrel fabricator. There we go, it doesn't have the word red in the title. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a few here. But you can see here, it only takes iron nice cobalt and antimatter so as long as you've got some copper that you can turn into freaking chromatic metal you can should be able to make your antimatter and the ionized cobalt you can get in caves just by getting normal cobalt putting it into a refiner to make it into ionized cobalt so they're pretty easy resources to come across but why waste them why waste your time in harvesting them if you can just chuck your game mode into creative mode do your base and put it back into normal mode everything's good to go now i'm just going to make a little mini wall of these just to show you this in action but you could go to town and dress up the whole thing back wall of your freighter with these or just make a, a room specifically for doing this and getting your navigational data not only are you going to get navigational data it's also going to give you antimatter housing which can be quite handy for actually unlocking the drop pods anyway but you see they're all in sort of like a yellow state let me just change my difficulty back to normal so there we go i'm just going to use that check it back into normal there we go done diddly done and i'm going to go over and then start hitting these ones up now i've had a lot of people out there in the viewer verse say to me captain steve why don't you just make a custom 
custom mode where you know putting down things is free or base building is free I like to use the toggles to go to normal and creative and back and forth because they're set gamer modes I'm a little bit nervous on using the custom settings because I'm hearing all sorts of weird jankiness happening when you're on a custom save anyhow there we go I've just harvested them all and you saw, saw they went all red you saw I got a fair bit of navigational data and antimatter housing just use a teleporter teleport back down where your ships are jump back in the teleport run back to your wall of magic and hopefully they're all gone yellow again people so rather than teleport between two bases you just teleport down from your base back up to your base on a freighter it's far quicker and this exploit has been here since the dawn of time and it not just only works with the red barrels but it also works for the green ba boxes you know those cases that you can put down so you can get all different trinkets and things and up your status and all sorts of stuff with the different races so there we go people there's a nice little tip for you to end off on it's an exploit it's been in the game for freaking years and yeah there you go i've now got 20 of those navigational data to turn them in for the actual charts lucky lucky monkey heck yes till next time people you guys in the viewer verse have been awesome and yeah i've been captain steve goodbye 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 again well thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please hit a like and a subscribe and i'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on patreon and over on youtube membership thanking you backers and if you want to support this channel just don't skip the adverts that throws revenue down my avenue or yeah just stay with captain steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen there's merch here now too